these. Dom. A new report. Dom? Status? Anything? Dom, you've been spotted? You have any evidence against Makarov? Well, the only evidence I got. Uh, oh. <sighs> I love Volka collection. Now, I suggest you get the fuck out of here and get your goddamn job done. What seems to be a fierce gunshot was actually a suicide. Here with me, Investigator Bilson. Investigator, what can you conclude today? Is it what happened? Well, we showed up around two hours ago. We believe it is a suicide. Okay, that's enough. Crime, what are you doing? Terrible shots. There is nothing as important as hand to hand combat. What was that? I thought you had something to prove. Ow, my face! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hurry up already. That's wonderful. Okay. Only commanders show their faces. If I'm seen with an unmasked stranger, they'll think I'm a spy. I have a plan to fuck Makarov over. I'm gonna go call all the men out. You kill them all while I go around, sneak in the house, and plant fake evidence to fuck Makarov over because he's a terrorist. Got it? What if he gets the upper hand? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna call the men. Alright, alright, we have an intruder, we have an intruder on the property. Over.
Cause I was a bother Hates me more than my mother Grandpa, Grandpa, why do you hate me? Told me to choke on a fork When I was at the old folks home My grandpa told me to pass away Pass away Hurry the fuck up, man. Come on. Jesus, we don't fucking all day. Let's put my gun back. Jesus. Why the fuck would Makarov shoot at me? You know what? I have no clue. He also had a pair of gloves on, too. Damn it. It's like it's hiding something, but I don't know what. Where is Goldman's name? Why is Makarov the only name on that sign? I'm gonna figure out pretty soon. Let's go. I'll tell you what, when I get my hand on that shit-eating retard, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, hey, look at the walkie-talkie that stole from the guard. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha, dumbass. I gotta get a call. Commander, all the men are dead. Over. Your men don't carry Russian weaponry. I turned the ultra-nationalist from a political party into an anonymous group, using all tools on the battlefield. Hmm. You're the only one to not wear a mask around here. Why is that? To avoid confusion. Your commanders too? Remember Chernobyl? That was my first job as an ultra-nationalist. When I was a young man, our crew planned the Chernobyl explosion by stealing fuel lines. We paid the worker well for his death. I went in to make sure everything was going to plan. I came out to find all my men dead, has my suits destroyed. Man, I see a man of what I've never seen. A god! I have a centuries of experience. But this is going to be my last sight. And the explosion happened. I refused. I thought I was dead, but then I found the power. Lightning in my fingers. And I turned around and realized that what had died. Once I got back to Russia with the fuel rods, rumors started to spread. Some said I was a necrophilia. Some said I was a jealous man. Killed all my men for the woman who drove the truck. <laughs> I found it amusing too. <laughs> Even after a bottle of vodka. <laughs> uh, some said I was a mercenary, some said I was a spy. <laughs> Zakayev didn't trust my new powers. So he made me battalion general. Bastard. For five years, I fought the soul. Then I found a witch doctor by the name of Kaleb Goldman. He cleared the soul of my body and freed me. And then I went on a witch hunt find more copies of you. Next to me, he was the Mikhaev killer, the blind Russian assassin. Even his nickname when he was blinded by magnified laser three years later. Assassin, you had a hit on your head? Not just hit on my head, it was Sakaev as well. Ten years after Chernobyl, Sakaev went back for more fuel rods. He was assassinated. Or so they thought. For 15 years, it was nothing but control. Then the civil war happened, and Zakayev was dead. I took control, and the first horseman became the leader of the ultra-nationalists. And we became the soldiers that you see today, dead in the fields. Then I took your liver, but that was only a ruse. I came here to kill you with my bad hands. Try me.
Still alive. The liver you took wasn't mine. It was that of my grandson. 25 years ago, you killed my son, Major Kane Price. Not even a day ago, you killed my grandson, Captain John Price. I'm the soldier you've been looking for, the Colonel of the SAS. I will end you, immortal. You know what I gotta tell you? Mm. I'm so fucking confused. Uh, uh, all I saw was white lightning and red hell. Guys, so fucking fast. I don't know. Uh, the knife disappeared. But if, if you're not missing your liver, then what the? Who the hell are you? I'm a dead man, legally, anyways. You want to know who Goldman is? I'm very curious to know. Please tell me. Give me your phone. Nah, what? I'm not giving you my phone. Mm. Hello? Goldman. I'm not missing my liver. But you want to know something new? You're the one to set this whole thing up. The whole house, the leather, blind man figuring out where I am. Remarkable. But you got the wrong guy. You killed my grandson, not me. Oh, and tell the good doctor I'm fine. Is he finished? No. Makarov is finished. He might be truly immortal. That's why you'll take care of him. Why not you? You're more powerful than I. The weather hasn't been that kind to me. Finish him if you think you're strong enough. Consider it done. Don't fail me again, Maximus. Hey! Where are you going to? I got a ass to kick. So that's how he got here so fucking fast. Jesus. You cannot hope this not me.